Plus one direct to cash. Range up. Skill up. Attack of Hooks 50. Increases damage. Nice. Okay. Now how argument hanger. What's happening, Banniger? That girl Audrey, what's the deal with her? I'm not really sure either. Never mind her, she is a cooperative civilian. Don't you think the ensign is more of a concern? He deserted under enemy fire, after all. And plus he's one of the Lado Londo Bell traitors, and that's a one way ticket to capital punishment. There's no need to worry about that, his dad will make it all go away. The dad ensign's father is a high ranking official. He's a member of the Earth Federation Council. And thanks to the Settlement Institute Council, and he's chairman of the Settlement Institute Council, and thanks to his sleazy relationship with GHQ, he eventually runs the army as well. Well, then Audrey should be safe too, right? Yeah, as long as Rady's on his side. Banniger, do you have any idea what she meant when she said she talked about deck by obligation? Hmm. Giving this a secret isn't going to help you or her. I think Audrey is somehow related to Xeon. What? I met her in Industrial 7, and she asked me how to get to the Vist family home. And on the way there, she were pursued by Meridia. In other words, a defector from Xeon tricked the son of a high-up official in the Federation. It doesn't seem natural to defect in the Federation, given the sorry state it's in. I agree. And on top of that, it's, a bizarre like, it's bizarre for someone like that to use a word like obligation. Come on, Tobia! You should see why right through this. Like, your girlfriend is the chronologically based on publication predecessor to Audrey Byrne. That girl, she might as well be a person of high social standing. Bernadette, you should also see right through her. She's basically you. What do you mean? From the way you're talking and her mannerisms, I somehow got that feeling. Meaning she had the same sort of education as Bernadette. Now that you mention it, her perception of the world did seem slightly off. Hmm. What is it, Plea 2? That girl. I get the feeling I've seen her before. And Plea 2 is originally from Xeon. That's really the clincher. And she's really is from the ability. The scripts of her behavior ev make even less sense. I remember Play 2. Anything about her at all? Sorry, it's not just not coming to me. All right, Play 2. We can find out more by asking that Meridia. What happened with her anyway? The ground troops took her into custody, but she was seriously injured and close to death. You're kidding. Judah, why is it you're so concerned about that girl? That's right, she's our enemy after all. Calm well, down, so you two. Why are you being so combative? Well, we... You know... Plus, you both used to be my enemies, right? Now that you mention it, that's true. There's no need to be concerned about with friends and foes and whatnot. As for our other girl, Audrey, all we can do is wait for that quadrant pilot to recuperate. The bigger problem is what we should do from here on out. There's no need for Londo Bell to change. Commander Deguza, Banniger, the time I was beaten to the punch is because of my mental state. It makes no sense to risk your life for something you don't believe in. We somehow lost sight of that basic fact. In our days of Londo Bell reminded us of something that we'd forgotten. And that is hope, or what some would call possibilities. Enough that there might, might be a better solution than slogging through the quagmire of war. That's why the Isu OAS decided to bet on Londo Bell. That goes for all of our lives, too. The Guza! Commander, you and Commander Okida taught me how to put a person should put his life to use. No, no, I really... You and I will be comrades in arms from now on. Absolutely. Looks like we're about to get real busy. Now that we're heading in this other direction, we can't count on the support of the Federation forces. Now the only group we can count on is Mithril. Yep, we might just, just might be headed for Melinda Island. So it's worth it to Danon base, eh? Audrey, wherever you are, I believe in you. If the path you've been following this whole time leads to your obligations, I believe in them too. Banniger, I don't imagine you can ever forgive me for pulling you into this war and then disappearing. Oh, I'm so sorry, Banniger, but there's no time to left to wait for all of you. I was able to contact my family. My dad will meet with you, apparently. Thank you, Ensign Reddy. Hmm. What's the matter? We've met under different circumstances. I am who I am. If you're born to that family, you have obligations. Well, let's head out. 
Minerva Leo Zabi, Zion's princess and last surviving member of the Zabi family. All right. And name card change, change changes to recognize, recognize that fact. All right, on to the factory to get a new dialogue section. Sasuke, why is it that you're called Kashim? Oh, you heard Doc Garon talking to me, eh? Got the first voice wrong. <clears throat> I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Don't worry about it. Thanks to Al, I'm used to blood questions. That guy Garon was an arch enemy of mine, you might say. And the name Kashim was the name I was using when I first met that guy. Was an arch enemy. Why do you use the past tense? He's pretty much obsessed with me, but to me, he's just another enemy. Um, you're, you're downplaying with that a bit, but anyway. As a soldier, all that remains is for me to exterminate him the next time we lock horns. Still, when the two of you fought each other, you showed a definite rise in combat strength. That was confirmed by Al as well. By analyzing that data, I doubt the processing cap capacity was able to acquire that equivalent to 100 attack points. They say that Kurtz is a sullen and gloomy type, but that deep down he's a warm person. And it's that side of him. What is it, Nine? I guess I really am jealous of Kaname. What are you talking about? Naguza, Conroy, welcome back. Just can't experience this sort of situation in the regular army. Londo Bell uniforms now! Cool. That's for sure. I thought the two of you were devoted to following orders. It's, I thought your output mechanism was AI-like, so your behavior was quite unexpected. Yeah, I guess. We were pretty surprised ourselves. Another result of the atmosphere in Londo Bell. Atmosphere. Sorry, that's something my sensors can't measure. People being moved by other people, that's the gist of it. That I can understand. Because they even moved in AI like me. And more attack points. All right. So. So, um, Banjo Heron is one away. Proud Ace. Wrong one. Uh, this one. That's a my bad. Okay, so I wasted those. New dialogue scene! Command translations on becoming an ace pilot, Commander Okita. I'm sure you worked very hard to get to this point. To say the least, yeah. Knowing your military history, to be honest, I almost feel like I'm being disrespectful to you in putting on a comparatively modest celebration to commemorate it. Take nothing of it, Nine. I get what you are trying going for, and I appreciate it a lot. I really do. Thank you for doing. Th thank you for doing this. You know, decorations were on me of a lot of my son. He was still a boy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trudge up old memories. It's fine. Like I said, you did nothing wrong. Just makes me want to get home even more. Can I count on you to help? Yes, of course, Commander. It's an honor to be a member of the Yamato and to do my part to help the Earth however I can. Alright, so I kind of whiffed that. That's okay. Alright. Kate, Ryoko, Lottie, Belt. I guess we guys close to that. 
Globies, Colosaur, Grand Moria, Vivian, and Battle Bomber. And then... Whatever. Our attack points. Kincaid is almost level 2. Or almost at ace level. 500 XP. And all of them leveled up to 20. And a bunch of extra cash. Sell. Loading our system. All right. Uh, other upgrades. Um, Yeah, you have an equal split of energy and ammo-based weapons, so yeah, you do need an energy upgrade pretty bad. And let's put in a, um, a unicorn also really needs an upgrade. Um, mobility. Most of your weapons are... Energy bay, ammo based. I don't have it's it doesn't show your stats for the, your special attacks. So I don't know how much energy the um, NTD does. Uh, point of that. Mobility of, of Kurtz's Gurns back. Alright, and next time we've hinted at the Evangelion connection. Um, the previous installments, but this time it becomes a reality as we cross over with or link up with um, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Catch you later. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.